The e platform has three forms that one can buy power either buy an app, a web, or through an SSB where you follow a prompt like it is done in the mobile money business to buy power. The e platform is set to allow customers to purchase power wherever and when they want. Speaking at the launch, the managing director of Nedco, Osman Ayuba, said the product was born after customers call for a more flexible and accessible medium they can buy power. The product has been on trial for a few months now, and we are proud to announce that the transaction success rate so far has been tremendous. In fact, my manager ICT tells me that month on month we are having over 50% increase every month. This is very valuable. A board member, Chief Musa Badim Sugru, who represented the board chair, appealed for support to enable Netco and store more prepaid meters in the area. As you could see there on the ground, they were showing this would be our savior. Fortunately, um, our economy is safe here. And we have seen that prepaid meters uh, the Deputy Minister for Energy, Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam, commended NETCO for the initiative, but appealed for the inclusion of those who are not using smart meters. While commending NETCO on this, I have been informed that the platform is not available to users of non-smart meters like myself. I hope you will change my, my meter to the smart one. So that people like us who are absentee residents, who leave our homes in the care of our security, can manage our consumption, monitor our consumption, and then the bills for that matter. This could be denied a significant number of your customers the benefits of this fine initiative. Accordingly, therefore, I wish to tax the management of NETCO to take urgent steps to broaden the scope of this initiative in a manner that makes it all encompassing so that the positive ends of it are reached by all. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry has also not been impressed about how NEDCO has managed materials of the Ministry in your stores. This has caused the government significant losses, and this should not be allowed to continue. It would therefore be appropriate that your digitalization program also addresses the problem of stock management and accountability to ensure value for money for the people of Ghana.